Number 12. A Therapoly Killing Recently, a deadly elephant killed a five-year-old girl. The wild elephant also attacked the girl's father and grandfather, leaving them in critical condition. The victim was later identified as Agnamiya. Her father, Nikhil, and maternal grandfather, Jayan, were not spared either. Fortunately, their condition is improving at the St. James Hospital in Chalakudi. The residents have raised protests due to this incident. They have complained that the Forest Commission has failed to intervene despite their complaints of the stray elephants. The elephant who attacked the little girl has also recently been venturing into people's homes. Number 11. Sri Lanka Stampede Two elephants rushed into a crowd of a religious procession. The festival goers were running and screaming through the busy streets of Colombo in a small town called Kote. The person riding on the elephant's back was also thrown to the ground. There were at least 17 persons who were bleeding, unconscious, or badly injured. The incident is not as surprising, as some inhumane treatments are meted out to the elephants while in captivity. Their living conditions make them neurotic and aggressive due to depression. There have been animal rights activists who continuously call for the disbarment of elephants playing tricks and forcing them to give rides. The incident is one that PETA condemned as aggression caused by forcefully taming wild elephants. Number 10. Rohingya Refugees Attacked A 12-year-old boy was attacked at a Rohingya refugee camp near Bangladesh. Shamsu Udin died instantly when the attack happened. He was asleep when guarding paddy fields when the deadly elephant attacked him. The location houses thousands of refugees and they have suffered multiple attacks. Three days after this attack, a young girl was also critically injured in another camp, Nayapara. Those mainly Muslim refugees are running away from religious violence. The centers are close to routes that elephants have long used. The number added up to 12 in six months. Number 9. Indonesia Farm Attack a farmer and his son were attacked on a plantation by a Sumatran elephant. Yusmati, 59, and his 13-year-old son were on their farm when the elephant attacked them. Yusmani died, but his son escaped with a broken leg. A month earlier, another farmer returned from his plantation when he encountered five wild elephants. One of the elephants pushed him off his bike before retreating into the farm. The Aceh area of Indonesia has over 500 elephants running the forest. Some of the elephants have been domesticated. That has made the remaining wild ones aggressive to avoid going into captivity. Number 8. Cameroon Killing Cameroon says that its northern border with Nigeria saw a deadly elephant rampaging that killed 10 people. From November 2020, the elephants sprung into a destructive mode where they trampled on hundreds of hectares of farmlands and destroyed several millet farms. According to the community leader in the tiny farming community, the area has over 100 elephants and they attack people unprovoked. People are advised not to shoot the elephants when they ruin their crops to avoid getting more violent in return. Kafo Reserve, which is close to the area, has over 300 deadly elephants. Together, Cameroon has over 6,500 elephants, an enormous African population. While the numbers are high, they are also endangered. In May 2019, Matthew Talbot, 22, was on an anti-poaching patrol in Luanda National Park in Malawi when he suffered fatal injuries. The British soldier's death has been described as a deprivation of protective measures. The inquest into his death showed that he was barred from shooting warning shots when under attack. Talbot suffered chest and soft tissue injuries. He was on a mixed Malawian and British group on an operational tour. The group saw three elephants approach them, and they started backtracking. Unknown to them, another elephant was charging from the side. The ride to the nearest hospital was two hours away, and he died four hours after the attack. Number 6. Zimbabwe Selfie Attack Moses Nlovu, a Zimbabwean man, lost his life when he attempted to take a selfie with a male elephant in 2017. 
The incident in Plumtree happened with his friends, who escaped unhurt. The trio drove to a bushy area when they saw three elephants. The plan was to take a selfie with them, but the bull and two males charged towards them. Moses was the only one who was trampled upon by the elephant. Zimbabwe has been on the global watch for failing to manage its reserves to restrict human-animal interactions properly. A woman was attacked around the same time when she attempted to take a selfie next to a lion. One of the country's profile cases in wild animal attacks was when a lion in a park at Gweru mauled the former education minister's daughter in 2010. Number 5. Hassan District Attack An elephant trampled two people to death on March 11, 2022. The victims were part of the 25 workers in the Sharada estate. The two deceased are Chikaya, 50, and Iraya, 60. The locals saw the elephants moving in the neighborhood. The residents of Katagarja protested the death of the two estate workers by burning tires in the middle of the streets. The protesters continued their charge until the chief minister, Basavaraj Bombay, visited the locality and convinced them that the government was doing something about it. In a recent ruling, the parliament allocated money to the construction of barricades to halt the elephant movement. Roughly 75 people have died in the last 10 years from a pool of 60 wild elephants. Number 4. Long Island Woman and Daughter Kill in 2010, a deadly elephant trampled a Long Island woman and her year-old baby. The pair were on a castle forest lodge in Kenya on vacation. Sharon Brown, 39, was on the adventure with her husband and three other tourists who survived. The group was hiking in an area where all tourists are advised to stay away from when they are alone and without an armed warden. The lodge owner shared that the deadly elephant came at them at top speed without warning. All present ran away, but the woman burdened by the child's weight could not escape fast enough. Number 3. Serial Killer Elephant an Indian local elephant who was nicknamed Osama Bin Laden was shot dead in Assam in 2006 after killing 27 people. The animal moved through the towns for two years and destroyed properties while also killing anyone in his way. He was shot dead in a tea plantation. Laden's trick was to hide in tea estates and other fields when authorities searched for months to capture it. Once they were tired of looking, it struck again with a more intense streak and Laden killed 14 villagers in one month. Another Bin Laden appeared in 2019 in India and killed five people in a day. The deadly creature also destroyed many paddy fields and caused significant injuries. Number 2. Three Hour Rampage at least one man was killed when two elephants moved across the city of Mysore and ransacked the entire place for three hours straight. The 55-year-old security guard who attempted to prevent the widespread panic and turmoil was trampled to death. He was killed at his doorstep. Footage also shows another elephant butting a cow. The event was gruesome, as anything that came their way was crushed and completely wiped out. The elephants went into the local market and destroyed everything in their way there as well. The rampage stopped only when the animals decided to give it a rest and escape back into the forest. Locals complained about the attacks from these elephants each year, but little is done to salvage the situation. Number 1. Safari Staff Attack a herd of elephants attacked wildlife park employees in South Africa in 2017, killing one and seriously injuring a second. The incident occurred at Kruger National Park. The two ladies were among a group when the elephant attacked them. The one in critical condition was transported to the hospital immediately. Meanwhile, the other employee died instantly when the tusk entered her back and exited her chest. South Africa's Johannesburg is famous for its wildlife and prominent elephant presence. Its neighbor, Zimbabwe, hosts more elephants than them, but they are the top two homes of wild elephants in Africa. This fatal accident proves why we should avoid deadly elephants, whether in captivity or the wild. It has never been a good idea. Did you ever come eye to eye with an elephant?